freedom for Bobby Wine 12 days after his arrest, locked up by both the military and the police he accuses of torture. Wine is charged with treason along with 32 others after President Yoweri Museveni's motorcade was stoned during the recent local election campaign. What Bobby Wine song do you want to listen to during the course of the show? Well, let us know. Many Ugandans, such as radio presenter James Peterson, have closely watched developments. He dedicated an hour of his show to Bobby Wine and his music. It's been a big hit. The young people are the majority, and most times they've sat back and said, well, you know, politics is for the old folk. But right now, the young people are waking up and wanting to get involved in the future of this country. Ugandan politics have been controlled by President Yoweri Museveni, who has ruled for 32 years, and a divided opposition led by Kiza Besije, who was arrested recently. For young people have the greatest stake and responsibility to reclaim their country. And that's why, indeed, young people are standing up. In many townships, such as this one in the capital, Kampala, where Wine grew up, it's all about his message. This is a song recently produced by other musicians calling for his freedom. Many Ugandans who are struggling to make ends meet say that Bobby Wine understands their problems. He was raised in poverty in this township and he has worked hard in his music and politics to get to where he is. Some analysts say that his popularity has transcended tribal differences and a lot of people in different parts of the country are talking about him. Wine opposed a recently passed law ending the 75 years old age limit for presidents. Museveni is 74 years old. Social media is the last platform for us to express... Wine also led protests against tax on social media users. What has happened in Uganda's politics is that a face emerges and we say it's that person's problem. So it's Besage's revolution for 15 years. Then comes Bobby Wine and it's a Bobby Wine revolution. Uh, but what about me? Many Ugandans say the treason charge is trumped up by the government to suppress dissent. Government officials say the politician incited people to violence. Uganda's next election is due in 2021. Wine's popularity perhaps highlights how that election will shape up by winning the hearts and minds of young frustrated Ugandans who are desperate for political change. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Kampala.